with us now, rather, and more, uh, Tom Rogers, Engine Media Executive Chairman, former NBC Cable President and CNBC Contributor. Tom, it's great to see you. Uh, curious what your reaction was uh, to the earnings last night. The stock uh, off this morning about 2.5%. Well, it's interesting, Andrew. You know, the company was viewed as having inherited a mess from AT&T, and by, because of that, they didn't really have control of the company. Um, they made a lot of progress. Uh, Zaslav announced uh, a playbook of basically cost-cutting, reducing leverage, uh, focusing on streaming profitability, a playbook, I think, that uh, Bob Iger at Disney and others have adopted. And uh, they uh, basically were able to say, look, we're going to get our leverage from uh, 5X down to uh, uh, under 4X by the end of this year and under 3X by the end of next year. That's been the major overhang on this stock, just how much debt and leverage uh, the company's had. And it really sounds as if it's uh, got something going in the wrong, right direction. Uh, their, their streaming losses were far lower than any of the other major media companies. So progress there as well. Clearly, though, linear decline remains an issue. Right. They are more tied to linear networks, traditional TV networks, than the other majors. And, and with that, uh, there's clearly challenges ahead as to whether cord cutting is going to accelerate and they can get the major streaming profitability before the linear business falls off a cliff. Well, that, that's a question. Can they? And the other piece of this that I was going to ask you about is, and maybe in this environment, given what we're seeing with the DOJ and the FTC and FCC, the possibility of a transaction is almost impossible to comprehend, but we keep talking about consolidation in this space. We, you know, we've talked about Hulu and what Disney ultimately does. Uh, this has been one of the chess pieces on the board. Uh, do you imagine there's a trade to be had in the next couple of years? I think it's a, certainly a strong possibility. I think that, uh, you know, as we've talked about with uh, Disney and, and, and Comcast and the Hulu uh, joint venture and how that could be expanded rather than a buy-sell. I think uh, getting to major scale on the streaming side is something that the uh, traditional media companies have to explore. And uh, Warner Brothers is certainly in a position to, to do that if in another uh, year or so. I think their, their streaming story, which they say they're going to talk more about in April, is, is less penetrable than the others because their 96 million subs consist of both HBO, cable, and satellite subs, meaning wholesale subs that are sold through distributors, as well as their direct-to-consumer right. HBO. So do, you like, do you like those customers better then? Well, uh, certainly... It, wholesale subs are uh, are in some ways better. You don't have to do the, the marketing. Uh, you, others take on certain costs. There's more churn in the direct-to-consumer realm. Uh, but this is all about converting wholesale subs to direct-to-consumer. And it's unclear, really, uh, what's going on underneath the hood there in terms of uh, what's purely streaming. And they're going to have to, to break that right. out more going forward. But their streaming profitability uh, certainly improved and is uh, well below uh, losses that uh, the other me major media companies are incurring. So, uh, you know, but we, we the, always the keep talking about. There.